So in verse 2 it says in my, in my NIV, it says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. And when I read that, it just doesn't have the same effect as when I read it in Hebrew because it says, Anochi Yehovah Loheka. And when I saw those three words, and it, it happens to use Anochi, sometimes you know, you'll know you see Ani, Ani, I am Yehovah. Mm -hmm. This happens to be one where he says Anochi. And when, the, when I saw those three words, it jumped off the page and, and kind of cracked me in the head. This is the first words out of his mouth. He didn't, he, you know, it's like, okay, let me, let me start off, he says, and tell you my name. Mm. And just in case there's any confusion that you might think that we're dealing with the gods of before, maybe you think I'm the god of fire, maybe you think I'm the god of smoke of the shofar, all those things are wonderful things, but Anochi Yehovah Eloheka, I am, and then he mm. says his name, 6,828 times in scripture, he proclaims this for everyone <clears throat> to hear, and there's no uh, sleight of hand, there's no title he's using. There's no, hey, it's too holy. He proclaims his name. So people say to me, look, we should not call him by his name. You know, he didn't come and say, I am the father. Call me the father. He says, I am. And then he says his name. And I'm going to tell you something. When I read that uh, back in 2009, I knew then for sure I had to um, go forward with this information because this introduction is crucial to us understanding how he introduces himself. Mm -hmm. He introduced himself to the mixed multitude of nations by his name. Mm. I am Yehovah, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. Before me? What does it mean to have no other gods before him? Like, mm -hmm. you know, that he can see or, 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 you know, if you've got God number one, God number two, God number three, that he's not to be number three or number two. What does it mean before him? Well, I think this is rightfully translated by many people as in my presence. Literally mm -hmm. means literally on my face is literally mm -hmm. what it says. Mm -hmm. You shall know other gods on my face. But that's a Hebrew idiom that means in my presence. Okay. Hey, you know, this is arguably one of, the, arguably this is the most important passage in the Tanakh, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. Bible. Because these are the words that Yehovah spoke himself to every man, woman, and child of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you, I know we're, lo we're short on time and we probably run over, but if you'd let me, Jono and Keith, uh, I can spend a card if Keith likes to say, I'd like to be able to read this passage from beginning to end, in Hebrew. Well, before you do this, Nehemiah, yeah. we're, 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 yeah. we're, 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 everybody that's listening, we're all going to stand up, right? I mean, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to okay. stand up, too. Well, I guess I have to pick up my microphone, but... Yep. Please, okay. stand up. I mean, are, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm standing, standing up. up. I'm standing up. All right. Australia, United States. So here goes.